What the hell? Who are you? That's what I'd like to ask you. I'm sorry, you are dressed exactly like my fiance. The same colors and everything. Uh, I'm sorry. Paulina? Ivan, it was a mistake. I swear, I... Please, a mistake? Do you think I'm an idiot? But that's great, Miss Piki. You know what? The wedding is cancelled. No, no, Ivan, please don't. Why not? You know what? I'm gonna celebrate. I'm getting some drinks. My fiance canceled our wedding for some external matters. But soon I discover his secret. I'm Paulina. And this is my odd love story. You. All you women are the same. You throw yourself to the first man you see. How dare you say that foolishness? Didn't you realize you are both dressed the same? I got confused. Hey, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't measure my words. I'm a fool. But hey, I can help you get him back. But how? Well, we can go and talk to him, and he can listen to both of us. Plus, I don't want to be the one to ruin a relationship. Especially because of a thing like this. And in that moment, I had no idea this stranger would change my life completely. Do you know the bar he's in? There he is. Oh, I'm so nervous. No, 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 wait. What? What if I talk to him first? He's mad at you, right? Then I'll go and explain everything. How's that? Yes, okay, that's right. Look, I just wanted to tell you, it was just a misunderstanding. Look, we're dressed the same, check that out. <laughs> Look, we are Paulina's new lover. Such bravery to stand before me. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you. What? Thank you, bro. I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, I got rid of that balloon. Her family is so... weird. And she's so... I mean, when we were a thing, she wasn't that around. Uh, so you're saying you're happy for what just happened? Of course. Now I'm dating someone way better. She's half the size of Paulina. She eats way less. Now I won't spend as much in restaurants. You know, right? <laughs> but well, if it wasn't because my mom forced me to ask her to marry her, well, I would be... You know, right? Look, here she comes. <laughs> hey. I propose a toast. What do you think? For getting rid of my puffer fish and my freedom. Freaking deal weed. We have to leave now. What? Why? You said you were helping me, please. Well, that's what I did. What? Wait, that broomstick? But that's his secretary. Well, they have more than a month. That dumb son of a... Just how could I be so dumb? I worried way more for his happiness than look. Look, there's nothing wrong. You are beautiful. And he, he's a huge jerk. You have to turn the page and get over him little by little. It's very easy for you to say. No, I mean, that thick head doesn't know what he's losing. Well, now what? I know a place. Let's go. Where? Just come with me. Why do you waste your time and your day here with me? Because I hate looking at such a beautiful girl like you, crying over a jerk like him. Do you want me to dance for you? 
that's horrible as long as you don't sing. Your wish is my command. Now I know that you become. Ew, what are you doing? Oh, Set up. Oh, You're insane. No. What are you doing? You see? It really worked, huh? <laughs> oh, my arms are shut wide. Shut up. Shut oh, up. Oh. They kick us out. Okay, then I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we get some pizza? I have gone mad. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it too. I meant the pizza. And I meant you. Jesus, it's not necessary for you to do this. You don't have to try to give the chance to someone that's not within your beauty standards. Beauty standards? Please look at me! Think I'm gonna care about some beauty standards? My arms are wobbling noodles! Well, I work out as well. Besides, since you kissed me, I have felt something very sweet. Trust me. I knew I would make a mistake and that it could go wrong. Either way, I was already broken on the inside anyhow. Good morning, sleepyhead. Look what I made. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you cook cereal. <laughs> I can see you're a great chef. After a few months of dating Jesus, I felt so full of love. And even though I had my doubts at the beginning, today I'm more convinced than ever that taking a risk was worth it. I think it's time for you to confess all the love you have for me, right? <laughs> I don't know. It could be, but I think it's better to let you keep it out. Uh -huh. Are you answering? No, it's not important. But, um, well, I have to go to work. Okay? Just get ready and then leave. But stay, laying down if you want. See you. Bye. Many hours had gone by. And Jesus wouldn't reply to my calls. I was starting to get worried. Jesus, I've been calling you for a while now. Whenever you can, call me back, please. I know nothing from you. Oh, Jesus, finally you made... Sorry, dear. Who are you? Who am I? I'm the owner and messes up this house. But it's nice to find you here all comfy. I didn't know my husband had bought a new pet. And you see, Jesus loves to save street dogs. But never had I seen him rescue a piggy. <laughs> Is this your house? That's right. So you can roll out at once. Oink, oink. Don't touch me. That is not true. Jesus has no wife. Are you sure? I only left for two months, but I'm back. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Bravo, Jesus, honey. I never thought you'd be able to switch a great steak for a pork shop. <laughs> Jesus, you see your wife? Answer me! Is she your wife or not? Yes, but she is... <laughs> I can't believe it! Mrs. Fat has got her temper. I'm getting...
it not up here? Have a good one. It smells like pork. You're the worst. <laughs> Paulina, wait! You turned out to be the same or worse than Ivan. Please, let me explain this, okay? What is there to explain? You're making a fool of me all these months? No, that my marriage is over. Just like your relationship with me. Paulina! Please! Look. She means nothing, okay? When I met you, I gave her the divorce papers, but she didn't sign them until today. Then why didn't you answer my calls? Because my phone was muted. I was working. Paulina, you need to understand, not everything in life is physical. And if I'm with you, it's because I feel a special connection. You drive me crazy. Please, come. Let's fix this at once. And that was how kissing a stranger ended up being the best mistake I ever made.